All right, here we go. Moving on with this hip series. This is a great opportunity for you to build some tolerance in one of the end range positions of your hip. So we're going to use the 90-90 lead leg stretch. And one of the things you want to think about here is if you're somebody who lacks the flexibility, you're going to focus on breathing into this position and trying to create more tolerance. If you're someone who's already flexible, we'll give you another option. But the idea is you don't need to get into it that nasty. So again, Focus on your breathing. We're trying to create tolerance so that the end range of this position ends up being more comfortable so that we can do work in the future. You're going to lay yourself in the standard 90-90. And again, what I want you to think of is focusing on the lead leg. So that's going to be the inside of the thigh that's belly up. I'm going to start by getting myself as upright as I can handle. I can always lean a little bit away if I need to. But what I'm going to have you do is use the arms for support and not thinking about curling the chest down, but bringing the chest forward. So I'm gonna think about bringing the chest forward. As I bring my chest forward, I should hopefully start to build some tension on the underside of the hip here. I'm then gonna move my hands to help support the position and ensure that my back is nice and neutral or as straight as I can get it. In this case, I'm gonna think about taking a slow breath in, a long breath out, and attempting to build some control and gather some time in this position by breathing into it. Give it a go, give it about two minutes, breathe smoothly, create some calm.